Asia to Happy New Year. Oh yes, Marvin, this year will be a happy Wildcat New Year because this Friday we play the Wing Championship and with you, Mr. Troy Bolton, leading us to infinity and beyond. Hallelujah! Okay. Hi, Troy. Getting ready for the big game. Hi, Troy. Oh, hi, Chocolate. Woo! Rock, dance, and play. Play your hands up in the air. That's the way we do it. Let's get to it. Time to show the world. Ah, behold. The zoo animals heard in the new year. How tribal. They're helping my intimacy. <laughs> Let me just speak. So what do you do, Obi Bird Sharkay? Your nails or your scales? Just like all the other things. Podcast everywhere, wave your hands up in the air. That's the way we do it. Let's get to it. Go on, everyone. Hi, I'm Taylor McKessie. You must be you. Gabriella Montez, hi. Yeah, my mom just got transferred again. Welcome. Moving can be such a drag. Did you at least do something fun over the break? Oh, you know. My mom took me to a ski trip, but all I did was read. Excellent. Under the bookworm. With all those cute boys on the slopes. Why do you think Prada makes all that fabulous after ski wear? Loser. Loser. <sighs> well, um, actually, I did meet a boy. See? <laughs> so we hit it with news last sister. I'm all ears. You know guys, it was yeah. the best trip. Yeah. The slope's are perfect. And I'm at the highest of slope on the ever. Okay. You'll never yeah. guess how I met him. How'd you meet him? Snowboarding? Snowboarding. Singing. He's pretty good too. Man, she was so hot. That <laughs> slope's on a slush. Yeah, so did Troy. <laughs> Singing? They threw a contest for the kids. It was kind of romantic, you know. Hi, I am. I'm Troy. Can't sing. Gabriella, me either. Then what can I I really feel. Living in my own world, didn't understand that anything can happen when you take a chance. I made New Year's resolution to call her and ask on a date. You know you what? My New Year's resolution is tell it. Okay. I'll tell it. <coughs> Woo! Oh! 
give for all. Of course! parking lot below. Off and out, Pete. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks. It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief that thou her maid art far more fair than she. Thank you, thank you. Well, it seems they forgot to announce the auditions for the winter musicale, Juliet and Romeo, written by our very own Kelsey Nielsen. Kelsey, stand up and take a bow. It's a delicious neo-feminist adaption of Shakespeare's classic tragedy of star-crossed lovers with three, count them, three tap numbers. By thinking outside the box, Kelsey has brilliantly swapped a tragic ending with a happy one in which the two lovers both live and move to Albuquerque, simply bursting with sword fights, meddling parents, and teenagers caught in the grip of forbidden love. <laughs> I'm good. If you kids can't relate to that, I'll eat my gong. <laughs> now, there'll be single auditions for supporting roles and chorus, as well as pairs auditions for our two leads. <laughs> Mr. Danforth, this is a place of learning, not a football court. Save your belabial fricatives for someone of your own primitive aesthetic. <laughs> this year, as always, the drama club faces a dearth of male participants. So please, come on in and audition. I'm offering you the chance to spread your wings into a bold new horizon. I'm offering you the timeless allure of the grease paint, the magical power of the Clyde, Light! Alright, I'm offering extra credit. Now you talking. Ah, uh, the dreaded cell phone symphony which turns to our crucible of learning. Ryan Sharpay Evans, your phones please. I'll see you in detention. We have zero tolerance for cell phones during class. We'll be getting to know each other in detention. 
Phone, please. And welcome to East High, Miss Montez. Mr. Bolton, oh, I see your phone is involved. Splendid. We'll see you in detention as That's well. That's not even a possibility, Miss Darvis. Yeah, Miss. Your Honor, sir. Because we have basketball practice after school, and Troy is a. Uh, the... That's 30 minutes for you two, Mr. Danforth. Count them. No, we can't. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. That could be tough for Chad. Since he probably can't even count that high. Can you shut up. Tyler McKessie, 35 minutes. <laughs> what? I, I've never had detention in my life. <laughs> well then, Happy New Year. This ain't my first time at the rodeo, kiddies. Shall the carnage continue? Yeah. Uh, say it by the bell. You may collect your phones after detention. And have a wonderful day. Attention custodial staff, a Nazi freshman just shared his pancakes all over the third floor corridor. We're talking major spewage folks, so remember to watch out. This just in. Please remember to sign up for the school musical, Juliet and Romeo, by our very own Kelsey Nielsen. Until later, this is Jackie Scott, the Velvet Fog of East High. <laughs> Troy? Gabriella. I <laughs> don't believe it. Um, me, but, but, um, but how? We just moved here to Albuquerque. I can't believe you live here too. I looked you at the lodge in the estate, but... Why are you whispering? Oh, um, well I told my friends I went snowboarding, but I didn't tell them about the singing thing. <laughs> too much on handle? Um, my friends are cool, but I'm not like that. That was a totally different person. Well, pretty crazy, right? I mean, if I get like this. Hey, I was, um, I was going for like a bunch of times. And... Um, well, I... You yeah. chickened out. Yeah, kind of. Cool. Oh, hey, so now that you've met Darbus the Deranged, I'll bet you can't wait to sign up for the show. I won't be signing up for anything here for a while. I just want to get to another school. But if you signed up, I'd consider coming to the show. No, oh, no, hold up, hold up. What show? It's no show, man. See, I'm no show the show. See? Alright, make sure you have basketball practice. Alright, see you, man. That's completely impossible. I wouldn't think impossible is even in your vocabulary, Troy. <laughs> so nice of you to be sharing our new classmates around. <laughs> Troy is such a sweetheart, isn't he? He's the star of the basketball team, just like I'm the star of the drama club. <laughs> We're perfect for each other, don't you think? Oh, oh. Troy! Are we having lunch together? Oh, were you going to sign up too? I'm sure we could find something for you. The ugly old nurse is lots of fun. No, no, I was just uh, looking over the bulletin board. Lots going on at the school. Wow, nice penmanship. I missed you the vacation, Troy. What did you do on the summer house? Huh? Um, well, I pressed basketball, snowboarding, and more basketball. <sighs> All right, You're so dedicated, go. just like me. I've become a much the mute. Musical. Maybe it's my week. Ooh. <laughs> again and this one goes out to Vice Principal Vinny to the person who took the air out of his tires. Sorry folks, it seems we have another request and it goes a little something like this. <coughs> Troy Bolton, get your butt to basketball practice on the double or you're grounded for a week. Later peeps. <laughs> Ow. 
And remember, the chain is only as strong as its weakest link. When the going gets tough, the tough, tough gets going. going. Get you another one already. Okay, yeah, man. Yeah. Give me yeah. ten minutes of weave drills. And let me see some hustle. So I'm late, coach. What you hey, bro? Hey. Hey, it's a school musical thing. Uh-huh. We've got dogs here in extra credit. Just for auditions, huh? You think LeBron James or Shaquille O'Neal ever audition for a musical? I don't know. Maybe. I'm going to say. Extra credit. It's good for college now. You know what's better? A big fat basketball scholarship. What did you say, man? Wait, hell. You're the team captain, Bolton. Get your head in the game. Yeah, real we'll dad's time. All right, let's kick it in. I'm on the shelf for drill. Okay. Hey, come on, Chad, stop flooding. Hey, man, stop flooding. It's basketball, okay? I know you, man, but. Big right, quick left. Watch for a thing, keep an eye on the fence. You got one that even goes in the ball of the hole. Don't be afraid, shoot the outside, Jay, and uh. Let's get your head in the game, and uh. Let's get your head in the game. Don't be afraid, shoot the outside, Jay, and uh. Let's get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your. Make sure that we get the free found. Swig it and cry for go wild. Second chance, gotta grab it and go. Maybe this time we'll take the right no. You have to see her again. I have to see her again, guys. But my heart's in a song. What do you think gonna be? She makes me feel so right. Should I go for it? I got shit this time. I don't know what we You have two minutes to solve this relationship between energy and principal quantum number equation. Class, give me your best shot. So, you seem like you knew Troy Bolton? Not really. I just asked him for directions. Troy doesn't really interact with these students. Why not? He's pretty much 24 7 basketball with him. Plus, he's such a bully, always picking on the smaller kids. That's nice. He hates maths and chemistry. Don't get him started on chemistry. I don't think he's up with the book since. Sally Dick and Jane says he didn't get it. Typical Jack, right? Cool. He's a meat eater with flat children's problems. Ask anybody. Miss Tenney? Yes, Gabriella? I'm sorry, I was just... I mean, I think you should be 10 to the negative 18th power, that's all. Yeah, negative. 
turn to the negative eye to power. That's quite impossible. Well, Miss Montez, I stand corrected. I'm very impressed and welcome aboard. Thank you. A year in the um, <sighs> juvenile hall? Something to do with cats and lawnmowers. <laughs> Be gone. You have no power here. <sighs> oh! <sighs> Whatever. <sighs> Ryan, it's me. Well, I'm impressed. You're a genius. Please, it was just an equation. Just and an equation? I thought Miss Debra took his phone away. We always carry a spare one, in case our agent calls. Doesn't matter. Our site's Kathmon has a big regional match next week. We've never won it before, but with you on our side, we could stand a chance. Thanks, but I'll think I'll pass now. I just want to get acclimated to the new school now. Okay, well, um, promise you'll think about it. Promise. Okay. at our audition list. Again? He was hanging around with that Montez hag this morning, and they were both looking at the list. There's something freaky about her. Did you Google that he asked? Yeah, it's like she has an extra brain or something like that. But why would she be interested in our musical? She's interested in Troy, you idiot! I need you to put the screen out in Taylor's documentary sound, okay? No problem, my boss, but why am I doing that? Look, there is no harm in making certain that Gabriella's welcome to school activities that are appropriate for her. You know, the ones that keep her far away from Troy Bolton! Well, Wildcat, it's time to kiss today goodbye and point me towards detention. So all you evildoers better get your butts to the theatre immediately or face the wrath of Darvis the Merciless. This is Jackie Scott signing off. Yes, my brave little detention menagerie. We thespians often use animals to help build the characters we play. Be the bear. <coughs> Be the ostrich. Chum, 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 now explore. to live the rest of your life in the shadow of your sister's ostrich. Friday, please. I don't know. I mean, 
mean, I need to catch up with the curriculum here before I think about joining the club. What are you? A worm. You don't look like one. Ow. You look like a uh, squirmy thing. Oh. <laughs> but what a perfect oh. way to get caught up. Oh. Meeting up with the smartest oh. kid in school. Oh. What a generous offer, Taylor. You could be our answer to prayer. Oh, okay, I guess I can do it. Yes! <laughs> okay, select quid pro quo. What do you know about Troy Bolton? Troy? I would say I'm an expert in that particular subspecies. Let's just go cheerleader, as in, oh my god, is Troy Bolton just like the hottest super bomb? Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I don't speak cheerleader. Which is why we exist in alternative universes from Troy, the basketball boy. Well, have you tried to get to know him? He has his clicks, I have mine. Come over to us tomorrow, you'll see. So, Chad, what's up? Hey, so, um, you don't think that being this school mission call can be like a little bit of fun? There are hoops, still, not a single person. <laughs> I'm not talking about me, um, what's she doing now? I don't know. Wait, Woo! back up, James, back up. <laughs> I'm not talking about me, no way. Good, because you can't expect the team to be focused on the game and you're there singing in some leotards. No singing about singing or leotards, okay? Not yet, my friend. Just wait. Man, you're closer to wearing a leotard than I ever will be. Lovely work, all of you. Crack off. I had no idea an earthworm could have such depth, pain. such pain. <laughs> Now, gather around for our last little exposure to the magic that is theater. This is called a ball of noise. The idea is to pass around an invisible ball whilst making some kind of sound to go with it. Once passed to the next person, the ball can land in any part of the body. You're only limited by your own imaginations. I'll start. <clears throat> oh. Sorry. 
May we have a word? And you laugh! In the gym! Now! Detention is over for today. You've all done wonderfully. It's been an honor and a privilege watching you risk, risk, risk. I hope to see some of you tomorrow at the auditions. Please remember to be on time. Scoot now. You may collect your phones. Chad and Troy are my two star players. You can't have them here acting like idiots when they should be at practice. They were not acting like idiots. They were acting like actors. If Troy and Chad were theater performers instead of athletes, would you seek preferential treatment? I think not. We are days away from the biggest game of the year. And we are in the midst of the auditions for the winter musicale. This school is about more than sweaty young men in baggy shorts flinging balls for buckets. Baskets. The West High Knights have not sat the playoffs for three years running now. Yes, and despite your consistent track record of defeat, the school board still sees fit to allocate ten times the amount of money for the school athletics as it does for the arts programs. Win, lose, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to teach these kids something about teamwork, about having a goal, something they can use as adults. Which is precisely what I am trying to instill in them. How? By making them scream at the top of their lungs? <sighs> Just die! Crackpot! <laughs> hey Wildcats, welcome back to another train wreck of the school day. The auditions for Juliet and Romeo will start at 3 p.m. sharp in the theater. <clears throat> so ye verily forsooth of dudes better rev yonder vocal cords. This is Jackie Scott signing off in five, four, Three, two, and one.
of the American theater you truly have. Now, for the lead roles of Juliet and Romeo, we have only one pair signed up? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Is that so? Well, Ryan, Sharpay, show us your stuff. All right. uh, what key? Hey, thanks, but we had a rehearsal pianist do an arrangement for us. Sorry, kid. <coughs> Particular song. I was hoping you'd uh, if we do the part. Yeah, if we do the part. Yeah, Cassie, Cassie, darling. I have been in seventeen school productions, and let's see, how many have you written? This is the first. <laughs> Which tells us that I need to write you more solos. It tells us that you do not offer suggestion, direction, or commentary. And should feel grateful that me and Ryan are here to listen to your music out of his current. Curie. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. I mean, Sharpay. Nice talking to you. Lift the glasses. Hey, you decided to sign up? No way. Us came to give you like more support. Um, you audition, right? No. Your friends don't know you're here, do they? Right. You're not afraid, are you? Hey, I'm used to attention. Remember, no one's afraid, not me. I am not afraid. I too. Am not. Oh yeah, prove it. Get up there and show them what you can do. And don't be afraid, I'll be right here. I'd like to audition with Thomas. Oh, I'm so sorry, my dear, but timing means everything in the world of theatre. <laughs> but I... I called for the individual auditions. And there's no one here to sing with you for the lead parts. I am... Um, with Thomas, I mean... Sure, I'll send you Troy Bolton? 
Where's your sport posse or whatever it's called? Team. Well, I'm here alone. Well, actually, I'm here to report. Yes. Well, I take these shows just as serious as your father takes his sport practices. I called for the Juliet and Romeo auditions, and you didn't respond. I'm very sorry, but now you simply run out of time. You're out of luck, Jack. Troy. Oh, sorry. 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 You, um, you wrote that song that Ryan Sharp Page is saying? Uh-huh. And the entire show? Uh-huh. And, um, how long did it take you to write it? About two years. I get up every day before five, and I'm still working on the finale. Wow, that's amazing. You're really dedicated. So, um, why are you afraid of Sharpay? I mean, it's your show, isn't it? It is. Hello. Thank you. Isn't, um, the author of a musical, like, the playmaker in basketball? Playmaker? Um, how do I say this? Playmaker. The person makes everyone else look good. You're the playmaker here, Kelsey. I uh, am? Yeah? Mm -hmm. You want to hear the way that song is supposed to sound? Sure. It's that set quiet. Go ahead, you first. It's hard to believe that I could see. Nice, keep going. You are always there beside me. Now you. Thought I was wrong with no one to hold. Now together. But you are always there beside me. Like a bird through the sky. Can I have my eyes now, please, miss? Anything is possible in theatre, Troy. Mm -hmm. You can be whoever you want to be. You just have to allow yourself to risk. And that's true for the both of you, Miss Montez. Oh, by the way, you can open your eyes now, Troy. We're not doing the miracle worker, you know? <laughs> well, thanks, Miss Thomas. You two were amazing. Like exactly what I heard in my head. Bolton. Montez, you've got yourselves a call back. Kelsey, finish the finale and work on it with them. If you guys want to rehearse, I'm usually in the music group after school, during free period, and sometimes even during biology class. Just call me on my cell and I'm there. Or if it's easier, I can give you a wake-up call and come over with my accordion. It's mobile. <laughs> Oh yeah, 
here for what you know. We need to They have got to go. We need to Keep your voice down low. Not another piece. Not another word. Not another sound. Everybody wanted it. One skater dude was even caught mixing in with the school string band section. Oh, the humanity! The humanity! <laughs> Pretty wild, huh? I can't believe how crazy it got downstairs just because we got called back. This is much better, right? <laughs> much better. So, this is your private hideout, huh? Yeah, thanks to the Hard Culture Club. My boys don't know about it. <laughs> Seems to me like everybody on campus wants to be your friend. Well, yeah, unless we lose. Must be tricky being the coach, just then. Oh, I said freak when he's got the singing thing. <laughs> you worried? Well, you know, my parents' friends, they're always saying, Yorson's the basketball guy. You must be so proud. But sometimes, I want to be, you know, just me. I saw how you treated Cass at the auditions yesterday. Do your friends know that part of you? Are you kidding? So then, I'm the playmaker dude. Then they don't know enough about you, Troy. Playmaker, that's such an odd phrase. <laughs> what about Py um, Pythagorean, huh? I think you mean Pythagorean. <laughs> right, totally whack. At my other schools, I was the freaky math girl. That's all they thought I was. Always pointing at me, whispering behind my back. They made me feel like I was a freak, and I hated it. That's kind of why I want to keep a little profile here, you know? So it could just be me. But you can't let people stop you from doing what you want to do. I mean, you are what you do, right? It's easy for you to say. You're the big basketball star. You love the spotlight. I'm a lot happier carrying out with a good book. Hiding? No. Maybe? Well, maybe. I don't know. Remember in kindergarten, you meet a kid, know nothing about them, then ten seconds later you're best friends because you didn't have to be anything but yourself? Wow, yeah. Well, singing with you felt like that. Like, safe, you know? No, I'm not for about singing like that, but when I'm with you, I feel like I can do anything, you know? You're a cool guy, Troy, but not for the reasons you're friends like. <laughs> You never know what you're gonna feel You never see it coming so the leaves real Oh, it never even crossed my mind That I could ever ever hope to find someone like you All things change when you don't expect them to Oh, no the future's gonna do Except you've been there all along I can't take my eyes off of you I know you feel the same way too I can't take my eyes off of you You and I 
to show you your top secret hiding place. Just like kindergarten. I'll be your best friend. Is going to be in show. Troy Bolton is not in my show. Um, did you like the cake I made you? Uh, no, it doesn't go with my pants. Ha ha ha! That's funny. Um, I thought maybe you'd like to come see me play ball sometime. I'd rather suck a dog's mucus out of his nostril and see the school cake in. That doesn't sound very appetizing. Maybe we'd like a nice creme brulee, tartufo, tiramisu. Oh, tiramisu. Why did I say tiramisu? This is going to work. Of course, it's the only way to save for themselves. So what you're saying that the individual must be sacrificed for the good of the whole. <laughs> That's so very car marks of you. I'm in. Good. We'll grab Troy in the locker room and you guys nab Gabriella in the lab in exactly 1600 hours. Whatever, just work him until he- Troy Bolton is my best friend. I know how to push all these little ones, alright? Remember, the line of communication is crucial on successful deployment of this covert operation. Yes. Yes. Woo! Yeah. I know you could some syllables in one sentence. I'm impressed. Thanks. I've been working on it all night. I think it's around 1,300 hours mounting standard time. Are we synchronized? Saving the Charlie's Angels, Chad. All the well, Mama me. <laughs> I love it when she speaks German. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Yeah, thank you. Oh, oh, all right, man, chill, bro. Something isn't right. The jocks and the brain acts mingling in study hall? The jocks rule most of the school, and if they get Troy into the musical, that means they've conquered the entire student body. And if the brain acts get really hooked up with Troy, the science club goes from rule to cool. And Joe will be here forever! Ryan. We need to save our show for people who don't know the difference between a Tony Award and a Tony Soprano. But how? Darvis, I have a plan. Oh, Lord. I'll tell Darvis that Troy's dad wanted to sabotage the additions because she gave him detention. She'll never believe that. She'll believe anything I tell her because I'm the president of the drama club. But the president's not supposed to lie, Sharpay. Yeah, and the vice president's supposed to smile, zip it, and do what I tend to do. Now, come on. guys today. Big game, it's the day after tomorrow. Downfall, where's your ball? 
I know. Someone took it. Take mine. This practice only. Where's your head at today? In the game, coach. In the game. And where is Bolt? That was an open question. I said, where? How dare you? What's going on? What? In all my years in the theater, never have I seen such childish, small-minded <laughs> subterfuge. Boys, practice is over. Hit the showers. Down four. Ball. Ball. All right, Gordon. Cards on the table right now. Huh? Your pathetic male ego is all bent out of shape because I put your star <coughs> players in detention. So now you're getting even? What are you talking about, Darvis? Don't play dumb with me, Bolton. I'm not playing. Some very reliable sources told me all about your little plot to humiliate me and the drama club. And I'm telling you, it ain't gonna fly. Save the speeches for the stage. You and your all-star son are planning some kind of practical joke in my chapel Troy of the arts. Troy doesn't even sing. <coughs> You obviously don't know your son as well as you think you do. But I won't allow Juliet and Romeo to be made into a farce. <laughs> Juliet and Romeo? See, I knew it. All right, Bolton, you leave me no choice. If Troy's really serious about auditioning, he's going to have to prove it. I won't allow either of you to make fools out of the drama club. <laughs> you don't need our help for that. Ugh. <laughs> and you, Mr. I'm soaring. I'm flying. Oh, I'm Stubbs. Thought you were genuine, Troy. Wrong again, I guess. Hey, coach. You want to tell me what all that was about? You want to tell me something, Bolton? Something about singing? Um, no. I mean, like, um, you know? No! I don't know. Darvis is deranged. She's just been in here and chewed my head off because she thinks you're plotting something. Okay, listen. It's nothing, okay? I was just helping to an audition. You bet it's nothing! In case you've forgotten, the biggest game of your life is coming up in just two days. Get your head in the game for real, Bolton. Your team is depending on you. Hey, I was going to steal some free throws anyway. Since you like practice, again, that's the least you could do. Hey. Wow, so this is your stage, huh? I guess you'd call it that. Or oh, just a smelly gym. Whoa, don't let me go to hoops, too. I almost scored 41 points for the league championship game. No way. Yeah. The same day I invented the PlayStation and the iPod. Oh, yeah. I've been rehearsing with Kelsey. Oh, I know. Me too. And I was in her practice, so if I kick up the team, it's on your conscience. Hey, I... Get rid of it. Chill. I'm sorry, miss. This is a closed practice. But well, practice is over. Not until the last player leaves the gym, Bolton. Team rules. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Oh, Dad. This is Gabriel Montez. Your detention, buddy? What's that need? This is a closed practice! <laughs> hey, Dad, yeah, chill out. Yeah, need you up in the lab right away. Hip hop, hooray! Right. <laughs> I'll see you later, Troy. See ya. Nice to meet you, Coach Bolton. Goodbye! Detention was my fault, okay? Not hers. You haven't missed practice in three years. All of a sudden, that girl turns up, and you're like, twice? That girl has a name. And she's very nice. How can you miss practice doesn't make her very nice. Not in my book or your team's. She's not a problem, she's just a girl. But you're not just a guy. You're the team leader. What you do not only affects this team, but the entire school. Without you completely focused, we won't win the big game this Friday. And championship games, they don't come along every day. There's something special. So? A lot of things are special. You mess this up and you regret it for the rest of your life. You mean like you? You're a playmaker, Bolton, not a singer. Did you ever think that could be both? And my name is Troy Dad, not Bolton.
Wildcat Legends won these championships by worrying about some brain chicks or addition to the musical? I don't know, maybe. Do you need a pair of guys with education and accomplishments? Concerns of the jocks or auditioning for musicals? I don't think so. Isn't that Troy? Heartbreak Bolton missed the last basket in the 1981 championship. Do it for him, Troy. Give him the championship he's always dreamed of. He should have got himself. Heartbreak Bolton, another lost cause, bonehead, basketball is run as jock. But you, you're the future of civilization. You're next in the line. My gut since that game, and you don't know me at all. I thought you guys were my friends. We went together, lived together. We're counting on you. I'm for the team, okay? I'm always for the team. So don't let us die. What about the next thing? We gotta go through. What you want from me? We're counting on, counting on, counting on, counting on. You know what? I can't believe you guys. It's what you want to hear. Singing means nothing to me. Gabriella means nothing to me. I'll forget her, forget the callbacks, and we'll go get that championship. Right, Everyone happy now? Okay. Chad, Z, oh, what's this? Troy? I think it's for you. Gabriella, what's going on? Guess what? I don't want to do the callbacks either. Who are we kidding? You've got your team, now. I've got mine. I'll do the science to cast along, and you go win that championship. It's where we belong. Go, Alcats. But I don't want to. Me either, Troy. Goodbye. So, uh, Gabriella, do you want to go grab a coke? No. Uh, okay. Um, I'll see you. Hey, bro. Do you want to grab a lunch or something? No. Maybe a little bit. It's funny when you find yourself looking from the outside. I'm standing here, but all I want is to be open.
Cause I like the view I thought you felt so too But there was me and you Maybe because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just do what I tell you. I am not taking interest in the stand. That ball is mine. I was supposed to play it. Woo! Someone in this room ought to chill out, sister, and it ain't me. We'll get the roles that we want. Just look. I'm the best Ryan Evans ever. talking about my role in the play, Ryan. I'm talking about my role in like, the school. I'm not a jock. I'm not a brainiac. But you know what? I'm the star. That's my role. And if they take it from me, then who am I? Well, you could just be Sharpay. That isn't that bad, is it? Are you, are you brain dead? No one's gonna like me if I'm just Sharpay. And I'll say I can be Juliet. every year since birth. If we get it again, fabulous. If not, we're still fabulous. Besides, they could have named you after a pug or a chit. So... But Troy, that, that thing. Well, maybe Troy would like you more if you was just yourself for once. Pardon me, Dr. Phil. What do you know? You're just a kid. I'm only eight minutes younger than you. Well, these are eight important minutes. Oh, sorry. I know you guys are in here. Oh, God. Trey! Is he okay? Did you come to ask if I switch partners in addition with you? The answer is yes. Ryan, you're fired. Um, okay. No. Have you seen Gabrielle? I really need to talk to her. Who? Forget it. Hey, the last time I seen her was in the theater about 10 minutes ago. Thanks, Ryan. You're all right. <laughs> well, <laughs> Two, three. Oh. Uri. It's okay. That's when you stop in the back like that. Helping the enemy. Wait. I stabbed you in the back. Well, at least you admit it. And you the stupid jazz squares! Try it again, okay? Gabriella, you have to listen to me. What you heard yesterday, none of that is true. 
You sounded pretty convincing to me. Then you didn't hear the whole thing. I was sick of my friends writing me about the singing thing. So I said some things I knew would shut them up. The guy I met on vacation is way more me than guys those stupid things. Boy, the whole singing thing is making the school crazy. You said it yourself. Everyone is treating you different because of it. Well, maybe because I don't want to be the basketball guy anymore, but when I'm with you, I feel like you don't put any limits on me, you know? Who are your dad? This isn't about my dad. It's about me and what I want. And I didn't let the team down, they let me down. I'm going to sing. What about you? I don't know, Troy. It feels so right to be here with you all. And now looking in your eyes, I feel in my heart the start of something new. Living in my own world Didn't understand That anything can happen When you take a chance I What Gabrielle means is... Hey all you crazy wildcats! Just a reminder that tomorrow both the League Basketball Championship game and the Science of Cats along will start at 3 p.m. So don't be late, baby! Come on out and support your fellow teammates! Well, it looks like we have another late-breaking wildcat newsflash! The callbacks for tomorrow will be moved up to tomorrow at 3 p.m. Hey, but wait, Miss Darvish, you can't. That's the same time as... Sorry, Troy. This is Jackie Scott, over and out. What? what? How can they do this? It's not fair. How can you be part of the science catalog? And win the championship. An audition for my show! Uh -uh. No word. <laughs> we can't. Well, it's clear now you have no choice. There's only one thing you can do. Yeah, I know. Maybe next year, right? Audition. audition for the show. But guys, what about the team? I thought you wanted to win the decathlon. So, we came second. That's no disgrace, right guys? Win, lose. We're teammates. That's what we're about. <coughs> Even if you turn out to be the worst. 
Sing or learn. Sure. Which we don't actually know because we haven't really heard you sing. Yeah. Mm. He's fantastic. Uh, they both are. Yeah. Yeah. So Look, we're college we just want you to know that we've been at you cheering in spirit anyway. Mm. Yeah, okay. If you sing something you want to be, if you want to do, we should be posting you up. Nothing. Exactly. Thanks, guys. It's hard to believe oh. that you see. You Let's fight! Me, but I don't oh, Good luck in the big game, Troy. Sorry about the car back, Gabriella. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, okay. sorry about her, guys. Calm down. Sorry. That's the way to do it. Calm down. It's not worth it, okay? Oh, calm down. Anyways? Yeah, so, um, anyway, we made our decision. I'll be there for the team, Taylor. Me too, guys. I mean, guys. it's just music anyway. Oh. Just a musical? Oh, words. Uh, Carlson, I'm sorry. You know what he means. We can't be selfish. Not when our friends are dependent on us. Right, Troy? Right. But you can! not So we can. Ugh. See you later, guys. Come on, Gabriella. We can't let them do it. Yeah! Do the ferret and all that. We have to figure out a way for them both to do it. Team Huddle! You spoke job. Chad. I'm good for all languages, remember? Okay. Down to the split second. Okay. You're right. Jackie Scott can help us. She's announcing the game. Yeah. It's impossible. Leave it to me. I can do anything with my laptop. Go! Led by team captain Troy Bolton. 
Let the auditions begin! You have exactly five minutes to solve this equation. Ready? Set. Now or never. It was Taylor's idea. Thanks, you guys are the best. Just hurry, man. Just take a seat in the school theater and we'll figure out exactly what's happening with these over-the-top lights. And then we'll continue with the match. Gabriella, what are you still doing here? What do you mean? Look, my laptop can only have school such work good for about five minutes. Hurry. Troy's waiting for the stage. You did this? Buy me a Coke. I have to get the lead. Go, run! Ryan, Sharpay, well done. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Troy Bolton and Gabriella Montez. <sighs> Troy? Gabriella? Yoo-hoo! It would seem you're alright, Chopin. See? Unfortunately, I do. <laughs> but you have to give them a chance. They've been practicing all week and they're really, really good. What you're saying, what you're always saying about reaching for the stars, that's what they're doing. Please, just two more minutes. I'll go look for them. I'm sorry, Kelsey, but just like in theater, our lives are defined by our choices. Troy and Gabriella have clearly chosen not to audition. Congratulations to all. The cast list will be posted. Miss Dobbs, we're here. Oh, I called your names twice. Where were you? Please, just this one time? Please, Miss Dobbs. Oh. Just give us a chance. A chance for what, Troy? To make a joke out of something that means the world to me and your fellow castmates who came to our business? Well, it's not a joke. I came to ask him my best shot. Please? We only have a few more minutes until the lights come back on. What? What's this? A full house? As the president of the drama club, I have to put my foot down. 
No preferential treatments. Your words, not mine. Miss Starbus, Troy didn't come here to screw up the audition. <laughs> he did. He did. No, he no. Sharpay lied to you because she was afraid of losing her part. Shut up! <laughs> she always does it. Oh. Is he telling the truth? Did you abuse the presidential privilege and knowingly lie to me? Sharpay! I didn't lie! I... I... I improvised. We'll talk about this later, Miss Evans. Right now, off the stage. But I... Off the stage! The stage is all yours, Miss Evans. Troy, Gabriella, you can start your audition. But we don't have a pianist. We'll sing about music. Oh no, you won't. A pianist here, Miss Darvis. <laughs> you really, really don't want to do that. Oh yes, I really do. <laughs> Ready on stage? Now that showbiz. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it, Troy. It's so much easier with just you and me. Then pretend it's just you and me. Like kindergarten, remember? I'm right here. Aww. We're soaring, flying. There's not a star in heaven that we can reach. If we try and so break.
bucks. No, I need your foul shot, Brilliant. Oh, right. Your son sure can shoot the hoops. He's not a bad singer, either. I wonder where he gets it from. No. -uh. Come on. No. Come on. No. With Soren flying. No. Really, I wonder where he gets it from. What about your team? We went to. Oh, hey, Chef. Team Bowdoin Junior. Game ball, Captain. Thanks, man. You're very good. Hey. hey. Anyways, uh, so uh, you're going out with me to the after party, right? You mean on a date? <laughs> Guess it's hey, your lucky day. Or yours. Hey, I really dig your music. I really loved your voice. Really? You really like it? Yeah. Gabriella. Congratulations. And? And I'm sorry I like to dog like you anyway. I'll try the answer, right? I guess I'm gonna have to play the nurse. But that's unless you can't go on, so recollect. Huh? In theater, that means good luck. Oh, thanks, Sharpay. Yeah. Don't mention it to anyone. Ever. Um, we should talk about more. Hi, Sharpie. I'm really sorry you didn't get to leave. <laughs> Join the club. I really think your voice is amazing. Man. <laughs> you do? Like, really? Like, really, really. So, where's my friend Billy? You promised me. Yeah! 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 Just like kindergarten, right? Only better.
give it up for the best of our soul music world! You finished? Uh, okay, just really, really quick thank yous. I uh, don't want to keep you. Um, but all the production team, all these fantastic lights and special effects and everything, uh, done by a team of pupils at the back, they deserve a big round of applause from you guys as well. Uh, and that amazing backstage crew, um, you guys for all your efforts in getting these people here to rehearsals, weekends and all that sort of stuff, uh, it doesn't go unnoticed. And of course we couldn't do these sorts of things without you. Um, these guys were spending uh, about 10, 15 minutes before the show started in tears, so they're going to come home with floods of tears. Um, and just to let you know, that, that was officially the last musical that will ever happen on this stage, because next year we'll be over the road. So 50 years of amazing performing arts here, here at Castle Vale, the Comp Greenwood, ended with that. And wasn't that amazing? So, with that in mind, I ask you, even though you've just done it one last time, give it up for the cast of High School Musical!